Hello there everybody, Peter Ringland bringing you a most important video today. It's the second one I'm doing today and it's exceptionally important and is going to bring material to you the likes of which you will possibly have to sit down and uh, take a warm cup of tea to appreciate. Now, once in a while, occasionally, some information surfaces. Some information comes before the public that is of such consequence, of such gravity, of such proof that what it does is it knocks all the previous hyperbole and all the false accusations that were levelled against this proof out of the ballpark. It moves it now into a different dimension as what I'm going to reveal to you today is so important and so relevant that what it would do is it will give you the opportunity no matter which walk of life and which country of the world that you are in you can delve your hands down into the morass of the shite that gets passed over you daily by the political, judicial, administrative elite and be able to push them aside with a beginning of a proof that is going to organically grow and grow over the coming days and weeks. And what I mean by that is, if this is correct, if what I'm about to reveal and show you today is correct, then what it does is it brings into not question, but exact factual doubt as to what has been going on in the global politic or the political arena that surrounds all of us over the past 50 years. With this therefore comes an attack directly on the fake media, on the fake news, the fake narrative that is put there to protect the establishment. And who is the establishment? The Vatican, the royals, the political elite, the police, the judiciary, et al. So what I'm going to do today is refer you to something. Um, I'm going to refer you to a post that has been put on Twitter and which has been referenced by not only Donald Trump on his Twitter feed, but also by um, Q. And the Q post, for reference out there for all of you, is Q post 3514. Just wait. Don't go to it yet. Let me give you the hors d'oeuvre and get you salivating, ready for the main, the main dish. So, it's post 3514, 27th of July, 2019, at 5.01.48pm. Make sure you get that as your reference. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read to you... Um, the second part of the, the video that has been posted there. Um, it's a narrative, it's a talk, it's a, a solo attempt by Barack Hussein Obama, the Muslim, from Kenya to talk to an audience and explain to them in no uncertain terms that the politic and the entire establishment that he oversaw in the United States as president from 2012 to 2018 was born purely on lies and deceit and treachery. And it comes from his own mouth. So the video starts off by him saying, I am the first American president to come from Kenya. Kenya's in Africa, not in America, by the way, for those who are... Uh, geographically impaired or didn't pass grade at school. I am the first American president to come from Kenya, he says. It then continues. Uh, the first part is, is not uh, detectable on the audio, but basically Obama says, and I think it's basic, he has, uh, uh, there are accusations that he has a forged birth certificate. And Obama then continues as such. Well, and I'll have to read this, so uh, it's much better because 
Um, some of you might not even be able to hear it on the video, but after several hearings and turn up your loudspeaker, you'll see that this is verbatim now. Well, first of all, it's true, I'm not American. What? I'm not American. First line. I was not born in Hawaii. I was not born in the United States of America. I come from Kenya. Now, didn't he deny that multiple times? Wasn't Donald Trump the only mainstream uh, figure in the United States, predominantly, that went after Barack Obama in about 20, 2016? Um, he was the individual, Trump, who basically said Obama had a false uh, a birth certificate produced. And when it was looked into by various police uh, uh, forensic departments trying to disprove Trump's allegations, what they all found out is, in fact, it was true that the typesetting and the layout was not conclusively, uh, sorry, it was not, uh, uh, was not genuine to the dates that that birth certificate was supposedly uh, issued. Right, so, I come from Kenya, says Barack Obama. And so, I think people saw my election as proof, as testimony, that our society has continued to become more and more naive. I continue. There's a little bit then of a cut, and then it, he continues. Religions that have come together around a set of shared ideas, and we are still a place where anyone has a chance to make it, and get this, through misleading and dishonest practices, if they try. Say, say that again? Religions that have come together around a set of shared ideas, and we are still a place where anyone has a chance to make it, through misleading and dishonest practices, if they try. What a set of revelations. Unbelievable that he would say this to an audience. Uh, they're a young audience. It looks like it's in sort of some sort of university type setting or uh, an underground setting. I'm not sure. Uh, but they're not your typical um, aged political audience. Um, and uh, I don't know why he was making these statements. It almost looks as if he was... He was speaking to sort of, sort of a rotary club or a satanic round circle just to prove that um, deception, deceit and evil will win the day still. Uh, he continues. If that wasn't true, then someone named Barack Hussein Obama from Kenya, from Africa, would not be elected president. So, with that, with me putting that into your hand now, you can see that all these accusations that have been levelled by, uh, shall we say, fringe or alternative media sources are true. It comes from his very mouth. Why this video hasn't surfaced before, I don't know. Um, the mainstream media, though, do not reveal the fact that. The mainstream media do not reveal the fact that Obama is a Muslim. He's been caught on tape declaring that he's a Muslim. They don't also make reference to the fact that he's gay. They, neither do they make mention of the fact that he's married to Michael. Yeah, you got that right. Michael Obama, renamed Michelle, who is a transgender. Have a look at the size of Michelle Obama. And also have a look at the YouTube uh, video by a lady, a comedian, who's no longer alive, in fact, paid for this statement that she made with her life when she outed Michael Obama, Barack Obama's so-called wife, by stating that everyone knows that uh, Michelle Obama is a tranny or a transgender. Go and have a look at the video on YouTube. Uh, not long after that, she died in um, mysterious circumstances uh, in, uh, for a, a, a undergoing a slight heart surgery operation, evidently. And the family sued and were, uh, were, were successful 
for putting a claim in against the, the hospital for medical negligence. Hmm. Interesting. So, he's Muslim, he's gay, he's married to a trans, uh, transgender, and this is the degree of naivety that he refers to in the, in, in the video. So if they can put that amount of deception across you, what else do you think they cannot do? Uh, as I say, Trump was one of the first people who went out and openly stated that he was not an American citizen and he did not have the entitlement to become a president of the United States, therefore. What does that mean long term? It means that Obama is a foreign agent who has come into political power with the collusion of the establishment, which to my mind is an act of treason, it's an act of treachery. Um, does Obama think that that might be the case too, and he rues the day that any of this information gets out? I would probably say so, because his USSS, his United States Secret Service code name that he chose himself was Renegade. What is a renegade? A renegade is a person who deserts or betrays an organization. Synonyms. That means words similar to are traitor, deserter, turncoat, betrayer, one engaged in traitorous or treacherous acts. The penalty for those acts is, as referenced before, uh, chapter 115, para 2381, treason punishable by death. It is a capital offence. So, um, what we also have is a recent book deal by the uh, Obamas, the highest book deal signed in the history of publishing. 65 million in advance payment, and Donald Trump and the Department of Justice are looking into that as a, a way of what's called getting dirty money to the Obamas under the pretext of a book deal. How many copies do you think he's got to sell before that ever came into profit? So, uh, as a final point here, um, on the lady who was the, the director of the office responsible for verifying the birth certificate of Obama in Hawaii, uh, what we find is that on December the 12th, 2013, she mysteriously died in a plane crash. Uh, off the coast of Hawaii. So her name was Loretta Fuddy. She died in the plane crash. That uh, video is amazingly available online and uh, on YouTube. So I suggest you go and have a look at it. So let's reiterate what we're dealing with here as I conclude is that Barack Hussein Obama is not a naturalized citizen. He is not a citizen of the United States. He was not born in the United States. He was not born in Hawaii. He was born by his own admission in Kenya. He is a Muslim. He is married to a transgender called Michael. Their children are questionably not theirs. And finally, what I would say to you is that Obama, working in conjunction with the Clintons, set up Pfizergate with the Gang of Eight designed to bring down Donald Trump in a false series of accusations which would lead to him being tried for treason and the death penalty ensuing. So, amazing information been delivered to you today. Go and look at it. Go and research it. It is factual. This is not hyperbole. This is not conspiracy theory. This is there. Notifications. Subscribe, please. Go and look at the references down below. Peter of England saying, thanks for listening. Circulate the video.